Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm standing up to film a video, forgotten what to do with my body. Suddenly my limbs don't really have a home. So let's go again. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope life is treating you well. I hope the sun is shining in your neck of the woods wherever that may be. So fairly recently, actually it really wasn't that recently at all, in my usual typical style, I have left this until the very last minute possible. But nevertheless, we're gonna go with fairly recently, I was asked to be a bridesmaid. One of my oldest and dearest friends, Emma, she is officially a bride-to-be and she very kindly asked me and kind of like the other three girls in our gang. Uh, we've been best friends for literally since the earth was created, which is super exciting and I'm very honoured and it feels very magical and special and it's gonna be a great day. But the way that she's approaching the whole bridesmaid thing is slightly different to probably the usual. On telling us this lovely news, she also delivered perhaps what might be the most bittersweet sentence I've maybe ever heard in my life. And I feel like these words would strike fear in any girl's heart, really. Um, fear and joy both combined at the same time, and those immortal words from the bride-to-be were, I'd love you to just find your own bridesmaid dresses. Sorry, what now? It is in fact a very good idea because it means that we will all find something that we feel super comfortable in, something that we feel really suits us, and our body shapes were all very different body shapes and sizes, so it's really nice that we can just find something that we all feel individually good in. And very helpfully, we haven't just been like sent off into yonder to see what we can find. We have been given a few helpful guidelines, which are the following. It's a pretty casual, chilled out wedding. It's not like a sit down meal, like place names kind of thing. It's very, very laid back. Um, it ends in like a Liverpool club bar. So it's that kind of very, chilled out, laid back kind of wedding. So we're not looking for like princess gown. It can be something that we will wear again so that we're not just buying a dress to like wear once and never look at in a million years ever again. And we do also have a color guideline. And considering the rest of the brief has been very non-specific, the color guideline is very specific because it has to be something that is forest green. I guess I'm actually appropriately dressed already clearly inspired by my task today. Unfortunately, I don't think I can wear this to walk my best mate down the aisle, uh, paired with some fetching blue leggings. So today, dear friend, we are the fellowship and we embark on this quest together today. My quest to find a forest green, moderately casual, bridesmaid suitable dress that I will wear again in the future. How hard can it possibly be? We're gonna see what works, if anything. I mean, this might be a total flop. I may yet be attending this wedding in my vintage Colorado sweatshirt, uh, but fingers crossed, there might be a little hidden gem in this pile of options. So before I show you the options and we get stuck in with trying on some potential outfits. I'm just gonna give a little shout out to Skillshare who have very kindly sponsored this video today and I've also got a great little freebie coming up for you. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, I think you probably will have because I have talked about it on here a couple of times before. Skillshare is an online learning community and it has thousands, I mean literally thousands, of creative classes right at your fingertips. In pretty much every branch of the arts, of creative hobbies, of creative talents you can possibly ever think of and each class is taught by an amazingly talented expert. And if you've got a specific talent or some kind of skill that you would like to practice or learn right from scratch, Skillshare is a perfect place to start that. In the past on Skillshare, I have done typography classes. I have done productivity classes for trying to get my life together. I'm currently about halfway through the novel writing for beginners class on Skillshare because let's be honest, I need all the help I can get. It's called Novel Writing for Beginners, How to Write Your First Draft. It's taught by Nia Hogan. It's really helping me find my feet, gain a little bit of confidence, push myself to try new things and explore a creative area that I'm really interested in exploring. If you use the code LucyWood or you head to the link in the description box, the first thousand of you guys who to sign up to Skillshare or get a whole month's free trial to give it a go, see how you like it, see how the classes fit into your lifestyle and get exploring your creative juices. I wish I hadn't said that. Okay, I am gonna reposition you. Switching up positions for you. 
Can you tell I'm slightly nervous? Also, quick disclaimer, because this is the internet. Yes, my body probably does look different since the last time we did one of these videos. I've probably aged a couple of years, survived a pandemic, uh, bodies like to do these things. If you feel the need to point that out to me, or in any capacity really, I would love you to consider following some other pursuits in life. <laughs> okay, first on the potential list. This was an unexpected discovery. This is from Coast. This is the Coast dress. It's definitely the right colour. It's got a lovely sleeve going on and we all know that I am a big fan of a statement sleeve. Um, and it's got this very pretty like white embroidery to it. I just thought this was very pretty um, and I think it's got potential. I see you kid, you're gonna be a star. Oh my god, I think my shoulders are about to fall off. There is a tiny button at the top here, which I've literally been trying for like 72 hours to do a... What's a girl got to do to get a lady in waiting around here to help her dress for the ball? I would say there's many positives here. This is not a terrible start. So first of all, it's got this amazing sleeve going on. Whenever I wear like a statement sleeve like this, I just feel like I need to stand like this <laughs> to show it off in all its glory. Although this is giving me flashbacks of being the Angel Gabriel in the Nativity and having to stand like this in the school hall for like 25 minutes. <laughs> is it okay to ask a child to do that? Oh, the 90s. One of my kind of main starting points for trying to find something to wear here, um, one of the main stipulations was that I needed a sleeve because, you know, in my, in my top UK charts of insecurities, <laughs> My arms are, are doing pretty well, they're up there in the top 10. And it was so frustrating because a lot of the lovely options that I kept finding like all over these different websites, they all had spaghetti straps to them. And I'm, I'm just not about that life. I want spaghetti on my plate, I do not want spaghetti on my shoulders. So I needed a sleeve <laughs> and a sleeve I got. I actually feel quite pretty in it. I really like, not to sound like Keira Knightley, I look quite pretty. There's just something is there too much fabric going on here? I feel like there's something... I don't know whether it's like this little layer of fabric or this frill here. Maybe it's the frilly bottom. But I do actually really like this. I'm quite surprised. And I don't feel like there's anything to it that would like throw me off or make me not feel confident if I was having a bad day or whatever. Um, and I think this is very wearable again for a different occasion. So that's definitely a big bonus point. And I like the back too. Excuse the label. Um, but there's this kind of little like cutout part on the back which is really nice because it's like cut out detail but most of the time in these dresses you'll get like a backless style or a cut out style where you have to like get a NASA degree to figure out what bra you're gonna wear. Do you know what I actually really really like this. I feel like it's quite a cute option and it's quite uh simple and pretty and floaty and I feel like some kind of like ethereal wood nymph which is the goal that I want to achieve with every outfit I ever wear. So option one, let's call this the wood nymph. Option two, I wanted to make sure that I tried on at least one like typical bridesmaid dress. I'm going to have to go right back to show you this one. I wanted to try one to see if it felt super formal or if it felt like something that I could like feel comfortable in at a more casual wedding. This is way too formal. I think it's a very beautiful dress. Um, again, floaty sleeve, gorgeous. If you've got like a black tie kind of thing coming up, I mean, who are you? You're so fancy. But also this could be a really nice option. Kind of makes me feel like there should be a little army of mice running around <laughs> to do the hems for me. Leave the sewing to the women, you go get the trimming. And this has got um, a nice back to it, although this is this is gonna put you in NASA territory for figuring out the bra situation. Do you know what I would actually really like is the shorter version of this dress. I wish this came up to like, here. Like that would be perfect. I love the top half, but it's just too long. I think it's beautiful. I think it would be a good option if it was a formal wedding, but it's not. So it's not right this time. I don't know what it is as well, but whenever I wear Anything that's kind of midi length or longer, it does just make me want to do this. Why do I feel like Nancy <laughs> with Fagin's boys? Would you climb a hill? Anything? Wear a daffodil? Anything? 
Leave me all your will, anything, even fight my bill. What fisty cuffs? Okay, next on the list, we're back to a shorter length. Uh, to the naked eye, these may appear to be the same dress. I'm gonna try both because they've got a, a slightly different sleeve situation. And we all know I take my sleeve situations very seriously. I keep making the classic mistake that I always make, <laughs> and also anyone who has a, a body shape like mine will know. I keep like opening them up and trying to like step into them, and then realising that they're not going to go past my thighs. <laughs> always go over the head. Can I do this one up or do I need my lady in waiting? Oh, we're good. We're good. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. That's it, I'm not going. <laughs> No, I actually quite like this. Very classic. It's got a little bit of sleeve, which I really like. These are very like floaty little sleeves. They're very pretty. I'm getting wood nymph again. <laughs> Not the first person to say that to me. I like this kind of like wrap over top style. It's got a little waistband, which ties with a bow. I mean, it's quite like simple, but I, I want something simple. Like a bridesmaid is not the time to not do simple really, is it? I will, of course, by the way, I will of course be wearing chub rub shorts underneath <laughs> all of these options. If I intend to dance the night away, <laughs> it's a given. The only thing is, maybe it's slightly big around the boobs. <laughs> uh, it's never big in the places you want it to be, is it? It's always big in the places <laughs> that you don't want it to be. I do really like this though, I'm quite surprised. It didn't really look like much when it arrived. Um, but I bought it because I just thought, oh, it's very simple, so surely I can't really go too wrong with this one. And I really like it. I might even dig out a pair of heels to try on with this one. I guess it's basically just about picking whichever one I feel the most comfortable in. And this feels kind of very familiar and comfortable to me. That's literally made me about 10,000 feet tall, but just for a minute. This is a strong contender. I feel like it's very classic. It's very simple. It feels familiar. And this also has a really good like re-wearability factor to it. We're going to a lot of weddings. We've got six weddings to go to this year and I could definitely wear this as a wedding guest to something else. I think maybe with a bit of tan and I think maybe I'm gonna go for gold heels, I think. And like with a nice little necklace that Emma's bought for us. We've all got little matching bridesmaid necklaces. I feel good. I feel quite good in this one. It's a miracle. Uh, it's a contender. I think I like this one the best so far, but let's try the one with this like in on the sleeve as well. This one is more of like a, I don't want to say it's like a ballet, ballet wrap. Is that a thing? It's got a very kind of skinny little waist tie to it to <laughs> cinch me in. I'm also wrapping the plant up in it. That's not a good either. Sorry. <laughs> not sure I like this one as much. Not sure the shape is as right on me. Again, just stand like this as soon as I've got a sleeve. This looks a little bit like a tabard. And I'm not sure tabard <laughs> is the vibe I was going for. Is it the vibe anyone's ever going for? Ooh, look at that pretty tabard. You know what, the more I kind of hang around in it, stand around in it, slouch around in it, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'd give this like a, a six out of 10. This is like the, bread starter and it's not salted butter. So I think I've got two options left and I don't mean to go into this negatively but I feel like both of these are not the one. <laughs> the other two were rogue choices uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try them but just bear in mind <laughs> I don't think they're the one. <laughs> I really thought ASOS was gonna be an absolute treasure trove of options and it really wasn't. I don't know whether I've maybe aged out of ASOS slightly, in all honesty. A lot of it now I look at and I'm like, heavens, heavens above. But these two were kind of the best of the bunch that I thought were worth a try. This is actually maybe not the right colour. This looks more of a teal. And this, <laughs> I mean that plunge, I feel like you're gonna be able to see my freaking kidneys in this one. <laughs> There's gonna be some safety pins involved. I mean both of these I'm not entirely thrilled about trying. <laughs> Will these make it into the video? Stay tuned. Uh, okay. This is not right at all. <laughs> I mean, again, I'll happily stand like this for a while. Maybe I'm some kind of like 70s 
she's secretly a vampire. I think it's very cool. You could wear this with some like little white ankle boots, some really kind of tap into the retro thing, do your hair like really 70s and it could look really cool. It's just not quite right, is it? But I actually think these sleeves are gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be like dunking these in your dinner. I think 70s vampire is probably not quite right for the casual bridesmaid dress code. So for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just gonna awkwardly exit frame in this one. Please help me. <laughs> I have also safety pinned this because it literally just goes, hmm, <laughs> it's just wide open. You know what I don't hate are these like giant cuffs. These are, ama the these are amazing. And I wish this was just a shirt. If you ever considered Robin Hood to be your style icon, this might be the dress for you. Um, it's giving robbing from the rich to give to the poor. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. I'm very confused by this. How am I supposed to do the Macarena in these conditions? I actually really like the open back of this as well. It's got like a very kind of gapy open back. Not for this scenario, obviously, but if this was kind of maybe two inches longer and uh, slightly less terrifying, I feel like I'd really like it. It's just not quite right again <laughs> how confusing is it when you order something and you're like that'll be nice and then it arrives and you try it on and you're like how did my brain compute that that was going to be an option for this how has this happened so it's a thumbs down feels very lovely and soft but i'm afraid that's not enough <laughs> to make this work um robin hood over and out so i was not expecting as much success as I had actually. I mean I feel like the bad was bad enough to kind of probably weigh balanced with the good. <laughs> the scales are probably about here in terms of good and bad there. But I feel like maybe, just maybe, the quest for the elusive forest green bridesmaid dress for a casual wedding in April <laughs> may actually be over. My favourite trying them on was definitely the short sleeved plain one. But I, I, my past experiences from filming these trying on videos though, I know that I sometimes feel better in things and then I do the editing and I'm like, oh actually, maybe not. Um, so who knows whether that will actually be the one, but I feel like that is, that's the strongest contender. I did also quite like the coast one. Um, the floor length one, way too formal for this occasion. Less said about the last two, I think we can all agree, the better. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As much as I did kind of take a massive step back from all the kind of clothing related videos, um, I do actually enjoy filming them when I'm feeling confident enough and it has actually been quite a fun morning trying all those on so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Definitely don't forget to grab your free month's trial of Skillshare, the link will be in the description box and the code is LucyWood. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, I appreciate your kindness in advance and any tactfulness is also well received. Take care and I will see you very soon with another video.